Are you wondering when to sell your floor mount home? Have you missed your window to sell for the most amount of money? Right now, we're seeing all the media headlines about when to sell your home. So today, we're going to uncover what is being said about the absolute best time to sell your home and make the most amount of money and how that specifically affects those of you who want to sell your home in Flower Mound. And as a bonus at the end, we'll throw in a few other ways that you can net more money without trying to time the market. Most people think spring is the absolute best time to sell their home. Back in March, a Realtor.com article went viral showing that the best week to sell your home is going to be April 14th through the 20th. I know we saw quite a few real estate agents posting this information, and to be honest, we were tempted to post it as well since we always want to keep our people educated and in the know. But we decided to do a little more digging in to see if this is true. If this one week in April really is the absolute best time to sell your flower mound home. And if the spring is the best selling season. Interestingly enough, another real estate website, Homelight, actually has what they call is the best time to sell calculator so you can actually press the easy button to see when to sell your flower mound home. And here's what they found. They averaged out the last several years to show the best and worst months to sell a home in flower mound for more money. At first glance, the chart shows April, June, July, August, and October being the months you can make above average on the sale of your house. When you look back in 2023, it's pretty similar with the exception of October. Then in 2022, we saw that the home selling season started even earlier in February and March. Now, we're not sure exactly where they're getting their numbers from, so we went directly to the source, our local MLS, where we can get the exact information for Flower Mound home sales. Back before the pandemic, the seasonality of the real estate market in Flower Mound was pretty predictable. But since 2020, the market has not really followed the same patterns. We've seen an influx of people moving from other states into the Dallas area, and Flower Mound has been a hot spot. We've also seen mortgage interest rates, inflation, as well as supply and demand play a huge role in the housing market. Although the average sales price has continued to increase year over year, when you look at the month to month prices, it looks like a heart rate monitor with prices varying by as much as $179,000 in one month. If you look at the overall picture, the spring and early summer months do tend to have higher sales prices with the exception of May. Now I would venture to say that because May is the month that kids get out of school, most people aren't moving right then, which could be the reason. And you can see the drop off again in August and September as well, when most families are preparing their kids to go back to school. But let's not just look at the price because most people we talk to that want to sell their flower mound home also want it to sell fast. They really don't want the hassle of having to keep the house clean for showings any longer than they absolutely have to. The home lot website also has a graph showing the best time to sell a house fast. The average shows the same months as those offering the most amount of money, but that's the average. If you look back at 2023, February and December were added with home selling 37 days faster than average in February and 11 days faster in December. I believe a big part of that was because the mortgage interest rates dropped. And if we look back at 2022, the graph looks a little different as well with home selling faster in March and September, but sitting longer in June. So one thing we can see from all of these numbers is that April does in fact tend to be most beneficial time to sell on average. But you'll definitely want your real estate agent to look at the market numbers in your specific neighborhood or area. You definitely don't want general information when it comes to sell one of your largest assets. And with unpredictable things going on like inflation, mortgage interest rates, and government policies, you really cannot hang your hat on the timing of the market to make the most amount of money in the least amount of time when selling your flower mound home. But what if April isn't the best time for you to sell your home based on your specific situation? Not everyone can time their circumstances around selling in April or even in the spring season. The timing of selling your house needs to fit your own situation, like moving for a new job or a changing family situation. You might not have much say so in this timing. There are a few things you can control to increase your sales price and decrease your time on the market no matter when you need to sell. We call it creating your own demand. So let's dive into how we do that. 
The homes that really stand out and sell for the most amount of money and the least amount of time generally have several things in common, including top rated schools, a sought after neighborhood, or being close to the airport or other popular amenities. But let's focus on the things that you have the most control over, which are the condition of your home, pricing strategy, and targeted marketing plan. Most flower mound home buyers right now are looking for a home that is move in ready. See, price isn't as much of a deterrent when people see the value of the home. They don't wanna see projects that will take more time and money after they buy the house. People are busy and are willing to pay for convenience. We see it all the time in other sectors. For instance, food and grocery delivery. People pay to have their food and groceries brought to them. I'm guilty. And they even pay for their Starbucks coffee so they don't have to make it themselves. Did you know that people will literally buy a house based on its proximity to a Starbucks? Which actually increases the value of that home. So what can you do to improve the condition of your home and make its value go up? Well, it all depends on your time frame and budget. This is where you really wanna bring in a local professional real estate agent that knows Flower Mound. They can tell you what will give you the most bang for your buck without spending on things that aren't necessary. But there are a few things that are free or inexpensive that you can do for any house to make it more valuable in the eyes of potential buyers. First, clean it up and make it sparkle. A good deep cleaning from the baseboards to ceiling fans can make a big difference. I can't tell you how many times I've been showing Flower Mound homes to potential home buyers only to see dirty baseboards and air filters. The buyers immediately wonder how well the house has been maintained and if there are any more cost issues associated with the air conditioning units or any other systems in the home. Secondly, make sure it smells good. Bad odors can stop potential home buyers in their tracks. They'll never get past the entryway. A recent article in US News and World Report shows that there are some smells that actually help sell your home and a few that hinder it. Some favorable smells include citrus, vanilla, and cinnamon. And some of the deterring smells are cigarette smoke, dirty laundry or garbage, and pets. I'll caution you here, some of the people will try to use a plug-in deodorizer to cover up the bad smells, but it just does not work. You need to try and to neutralize the odors instead of masking them. Ask your real estate agent or a good friend to give your home the sniff test and to be honest with you, it could cost you if you don't. Another inexpensive way to increase the value of your home is to put fresh mulch in your flower beds with some seasonal flowers or plants. It can really freshen up the look of your home and be a welcome first impression. If you like more staging tips like these, you can download our free staging guide at the link down below in the description box. Now that we've talked about creating your own buyer demand and increasing your value with the condition of your home, let's talk a little about pricing strategy. Most people think they should price their home at the very top of the market to make room for negotiations. But one of our pricing strategies that has worked to net our home sellers top dollar in any market is actually pricing the home right at or just below market value. Now, this may go against what you're thinking would work, but what this does is create a feeding frenzy. Potential buyers see the value. Believe me, buyers are searching online for homes in your area and they know when they look at the price and the photos, if a house stands out as having more features and benefits than the others. You create demand for your house and the most amount of buyers will want it. This is a great way to potentially get multiple offers and above list price. See, the market actually determines the price of your house and the market is what a buyer is willing to pay for your house. The value of your home is not determined by the appraisal district, your real estate agent, what you think it's worth or what it would cost to build in today's market. Let's briefly talk about marketing. When your home goes up for sale, it's the new kid on the block. It's the shiny new object that will get the attention of potential buyers. And it's when you make your first impression. So this is when to make a big splash with marketing. And it's not about just blanket marketing to everyone, but to the specific pool of potential buyers for your home. Everything from professional photos, attention grabbing description, and the story of your home will capture the attention of the right buyer. There is some psychology that goes into everything needed to craft the best marketing plan 
for your home to reach the right buyer. Make sure the real estate agent that you hire understands that and has a marketing plan that can deliver. And I would add to that, hire a professional local Flower Mound real estate agent that lives and works in Flower Mound. Many times we've seen agents from outside of Flower Mound come and list homes to sell here and actually underprice them. They may not know which neighborhoods are sought after and can actually bring more money, even if they aren't updated. Pricing strategies and marketing your home are big topics. So if you want to know more about pricing your home to sell, marketing, and more of our best tips to sell, we've actually created an ebook with some of the ways that we consistently get top dollar for our home sellers. This book was a labor of love for us, and we put some of our best tips and secrets as a gift to you so that you can benefit from our two decades of real estate knowledge. We've tried to give you as much information as we could in this short video about when to sell your flower mound home. But if you'd like your specific questions answered, just set up a free strategy call with us and we'll be glad to help. And if you want to watch more of our selling tips, check out our next video on what adds value to your home.